having some technical difficulties. The recording has begun for our Alrighty, history. cool. Thank you very much. So hi everybody. Welcome to the Asia Pacific Chaos Community Call. Uh, we have a couple things on the agenda. I went ahead and put the minutes in the chat. Uh, and I think first, first on the line is David with the CII Best Practices Badge. David, were you here a couple weeks ago? Do you want to introduce yourself? I don't know how many people know you. I think, I think some here. of you know me, but uh, absolutely happy to do it. So uh, David A. Wheeler, uh, I actually work for the Linux Foundation as of April. Uh, but I've been interacting with Chaos and actually a number of other folks. I've been involved in open source software and or security for uh, literally decades. Um, so I'm particularly interested in making sure that open source software, when it's developed and released, is secure and improving security and that sort of thing. Um, which is basically one reason I wanted to jump in here real quick. Um, the CIA Best Practices Badge, is, for those of you who aren't already familiar with it, uh, basically identifies a set of criteria for uh, basically what we think are best practices for open source software projects and projects that meet those get a badge. And there's actually three levels uh, passing silver gold. Um, the status of the CI best practices badge for a project is actually one of the chaos metrics. Um, <clears throat> so, um, uh, oh, I, I have a link there. It's uh, under user content focus area security. Um, Here's the issue. Um, we had translators for Japanese and Chinese, and we actually have translators for others. Uh, Georg Link is our uh, translator for um, German. Um, but uh, unfortunately, due to various factors, um, well, I, our Chinese translator, I guess, no longer works at Huawei, and our Japanese translator has kind of disappeared. So I would very much like to have more, <laughs> at least one uh, a translator for Chinese and Japanese. Uh, for uh, Chinese, it's simplified, although I, we'd be happy to do tra traditional as well, um, and Japanese. So- I think we've been doing Mandarin. I'm sorry? We've been doing Mandarin translations, if that's all right. Uh, yeah, my understanding is well, my understanding of chap of Chinese can probably be fit in the thimble. Uh, so, <laughs> which is one reason oh. why I want somebody who actually is a native speaker. Um, my, mine would fit on a nano chip. <laughs> <laughs> but in case, so if you are, if if it is not hard work, if you're a native speaker, this is easy. It's generally like a paragraph a month of text, you know, a couple sentences, but it's important. Um, and so please see me afterwards and uh, just email me and we go from there. Yes, Matt. So do you have a couple of questions? Do you have um, things in particular with, with the CII best practices badge that you would like to start with? And maybe you could share the, what those are? Um, okay, so basically what happens, um, I mean, I, I can probably pull out a couple uh, things of text, um, but um, Basically what happens is the CI best practices has already been translated to Chinese and Japanese, but things change over time. There's little tweaks to the criteria. Um, we actually have added some more text um, since then, particularly explaining what it is. Uh, that's actually probably the biggest one. That, that's actually a couple paragraphs. But uh, what happened is, you know, as things have changed more recently, our translators basically are unavailable now. And so it's, it's purely, there's a website you go to and you just, it will identify what's changed and you just translate the things that have changed. Um, okay. And none of it, it, none of it is terribly difficult. It's just that if you're a native speaker, this is easy, you know, this is something you can easily do, uh, but it's something that's important for native speakers to do. I can use Google Translate and it'll look like Google Translate translations. <laughs> Could you could you share that? Do you have a link to that site that shows you what has changed? Um, I don't. I don't know if I've got. It, it's it varies depending on the language. What has and hasn't changed since then. So, uh, I don't have a simple one. Um, but I mean, if I pulled it up, you'd go, yeah, that's just normal text, which is true. But um, 
anyway, I, I don't want to take up too much time here. So I, it's I it's basically saying. simple sentences, right? It's it's very okay. simple sentences. It's nothing complicated. Okay. Um, so just shoot me an email, dwheeler at linuxfoundation.org. Um, if you're not sure, please come try it out. If you only do it for a little bit, it would still be a big help. Yeah, I, I think since it's not too heavy load, I'm happy to at least ha have a try it first. That would be spectacular. Um, could you send me an email? I, I don't have your email, but I will stick my... Okay. Oh, yeah. Somebody... oh there we go. Email. Help me with translations. Yeah. I'm sorry? Yes, Shaya is in the email list. Uh, you, you, you have sent the email to me, you see. I, I saw, yeah, I saw your email address. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, another thing, uh, my teammate uh, named Wang Lisha is uh, she is uh, on the meeting now. Uh, she is uh, glad to translate it either. Oh, I think that's she okay. can translate uh, and uh, she can calculate with Shaya, and uh, they can translate it together. I think. Yeah, we, uh, more is better. Um, you, know, you just log into a website, so we can handle multiple people doing translations, not a problem at all. So thank you, uh, I, I would be, I'm very grateful. <laughs> and Great. just try it out and see. Great. Oh, by, by the way, if we can know the, the trench, that could save us a lot of time. So we don't need to go through the, all the uh, sentences. Oh, absolutely. It, it will show you what has changed. Um, it, it's just a, it's a site you log into. But once you log, I will give you account, an account. And when you log in, it will show you that right away. OK, I, I can give you a, <laughs> a, give a hand on, on that. And uh, to uh, I, I think uh, uh, CI uh, badges is very good. And uh, we can uh, learn something from that. Thank you so much. Um, uh, William, uh, I, I, I will send, send you an email for that. Okay, fantastic. So thank uh, you so very much. Yeah, and uh, Georg can tell you all about it. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah. Georg, we were talking about translations, helping with translations in the CII best practices badge. And David was looking for some help with respect to Chinese translations. And we know that you have helped with the German translations. So maybe just even from a workflow perspective, you, Georg, could maybe help a little bit too. I don't mean to tell you to do things, but just thinking out loud. <laughs> yeah, I, I assume you already introduced the user interface that I, we're using. I, I have it, but I, I mentioned that we, we're, it's a website, you just log in, so I can just create accounts and grant access. So, uh, yeah. and that's really it. And then you just click through one block at a time. And there's a suggested translation, at least for German, there was. Yes. And then I tweak it. And the, the interface is a little finicky. You have to be careful about using key shortcuts. But it's fine in the end. <laughs> All right. And, and happy to help with technical. So thank you very much for, uh, for your time. and. Happy to answer further questions later. Great that the connections could be made. That's cool. All right, right on. Uh, all right. So there was one. Go ahead, Gary. One thing we did, uh, David, where you remember that pull request we got from someone who made like a hundred right. million changes. Right. Uh, is, we, that, there, we, mm -hmm. is that way of translating something that we can offer across the board, or was that a one-time? thing where you just fit that back? Um, no, it's OK. Um, no, it's something that can be used anytime. If you if you would prefer to work with a simple text file and upload all at once instead of using a web interface, uh, we have a little tool that will let you do that. I, I'm not sure it's an improvement. Uh, I, I think it's much easier to use the web interface because it will then show you, here's a Google translation to as a starter. Uh, and that sort of thing, but uh, you don't. You, if if you send me text files, we can we can handle that also. So thank you. Um, I, I'm done.
I think the the easiest thing is for folks to reach out to David, which yes. his email is in the chat, and I'll put it in the or somebody could also put it in the minutes. I, I will put it in the minutes. Thank you. All right. Uh, next item is Willem is sharing his experience with the Inner Source Summit. So, Willem. Uh, I think uh, two weeks ago, I, I had a chance to uh, go to Tencent to, to attend the Inner Source uh, Virtual Summit at face-to-face uh, uh, -face one. And uh, I think uh, this experience will uh, help uh, for our meetup. Uh, it's looked like uh, um, we play the video uh, or join the Zoom meeting together. And uh, just like, like this, but uh, some, some guys can <laughs> have the face-to-face -face talk. And uh, I, I really enjoy the breakout session because uh, we have a close uh, talk and the exchange uh, a lot of ideas together. And um, uh, then we have uh, offline talk, um, just uh, catch up and uh, exchange a lot of things. And uh, uh, I think it's a good opportunity to uh, help to each other to understand, uh, to, to know better about each other. And uh, uh, recently I, 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 I just talked to a Ada and I found out uh, we are facing uh, the same problem, and uh, we uh, we are talking about uh, working together uh, to to resolve uh, some issues together, and it's like a joint effort. So I think this is a very good opportunity to to um, build the community and uh, just let the people help each other. Uh, that is what I want to share with you guys. And I think uh, Daniel uh, already uh, participates uh, uh, the, the, the meetup planning, uh, uh, not, uh, the, the uh, uh, Inner Source Virtual Summit planning. I think he, he may have uh, uh, another uh, suggestions uh, we'll share, share with us. Um, yeah, sure. So. Uh perhaps in addition to this, something that was uh, useful was that we ran even a, a week before a meetup on, on inner source, something like inner source 101, uh, more introductory and training oriented. And then uh, during the inner source commons, I think we, in this case, we were, we were, we tried, as, as you mentioned, Willem, a uh, hybrid model. So some people physically there at Tencent offices and some people uh, virtual. So I think we, we were like uh, 50, 50 to, to 60 uh, virtual through Zoom. Then there were another 25 people there physically at Tencent offices. And then even by Tencent, thanks to Tencent uh, Fox, we had some kind of streaming video where we, the, the only thing we know is that we have, uh, we have like uh, uh, more than 1000 views. We don't know about users or so, just views. Um, but I guess probably around 100 or so in total in, in terms of people joining. And then for the breakout sessions, we were we tried as well to to have uh, as, as a new thing this this time the um, uh, live translations. So we had English, uh, Chinese, Chinese, English, both ways. So some of the talks were in Chinese, and uh, Tencent again brought uh, the translators, and that was a really really great experience. And I. I, I I only have uh, really good words to all of the effort by uh, uh, well, Willem and, and, and others that presented there in, in English. Um, and the same way, all of the effort around going both ways with live translation. So, yeah, all of those things we'll try. It worked. <laughs> so, I have a question for Willem and for Daniel. Like coming from these conversations with respect to inner source and the relationship to the work that we do in the chaos project, are there things that we should um, kind of have on the roadmap for 2021? Are there things that we can help with in this regard? You know, you said it was a set of good discussions and I'm just kind of curious as to how 
we can help support those discussions. You mean yeah, more I, in the sense of uh, metrics discussions? Sorry, we'll yeah, go ahead. just for the content that came out of the meeting as well. Uh, I guess um, most of the people, because they, uh, we, we just meet a uh, uh, first time. It's it's look like we need to know each other to to talk about the problem we we face. So I think uh, the uh, the coming up uh, chaos meetup just to bring these people together, and uh, then we can uh, discuss uh, about uh, the the common problem we face. And uh, I uh, I think. Uh, uh, with this meetup, we, we may come up some ideas and then we can uh, cooperate with uh, each other. And especially um, for uh, a chaos uh, board. Uh, so, so we can get some feedback from the community. And uh, in the meantime, I, I think um, I, uh, maybe we can show the roadmap of the chaos, especially uh, we have uh, for working group each work group had a lot of things to do, and I think uh, for the new guys, they they may lost. They they don't know uh, which one they will uh, join. So so I I, I guess uh, maybe uh, there was uh, someone can uh, can introduce uh, or maybe share their experience. So to give uh, uh, the, the the audience uh, uh, some general ideas. Uh, what's going on on the chaos? At the meantime, m maybe we can uh, write some articles or or um, just publish uh, the, the the meetup video uh, to to let more people to know about the chaos. I uh, from from my understanding, I think uh, a lot of people, um, uh, especially the OSPO, <laughs> uh, the the open source. Uh, uh, office uh, uh, people, the uh, program officer, they 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 should be very interesting about that. Um, and uh, today I talked to Ada uh, from Tencent. He he uh, she said uh, he uh, she know about the chaos, but uh, he didn't have time to uh, really go through it. And uh, and okay, I I I just saw saw her. <laughs> he he's online and. Uh, um, I, I think it, it's a good opportunity to to let more people still know about uh, uh, the chaos and really join the community to discuss uh, their problems and uh, uh, share the solutions together. Uh, so I I think this is a good opportunity to introduce more new people to the community and just help them to um, understand uh, uh, what's going on here and uh, what you can get from the community and what you can contribute back. It was very helpful, thank you. And I guess I'll add to that when the meetup happens, you know, in, in, De in December or later in December, I guess it is December, but it's only 11 days away. But um, like, as you're coming up with ideas, um, like think about ideas and, and ways of work that um, accommodate uh, how you want to work too. I think we can work with you and, and try to support that work in the chaos project. So I guess, you know, if the, some of the working group meetings, for example, are at times that are completely inconvenient for, for people in China, no problem. Let's talk through how we can um, support the work that you want to do in those working groups and ensure that you have a, a voice in how that working group develops. So don't feel limited in the way that you think about um, about contributing and participating. So we're happy to work with you on that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, the schedule we settled for now is uh, China Standard Time in the afternoon. So I, I guess it's not so convenient for maybe most of the community members who lived in North America, but maybe uh, for folks who uh, who are located in Europe, um, maybe they can get a remote connection or yeah, to join the meetup. That sounds good. Okay, cool. 
Anybody else have comments on the Intersource Commons meetup? Oh, oh by the way, I, I have a, a suggestion because uh, uh, some guys uh, live in Beijing and they may be interesting about the meetup. So if we can provide uh, remote access for, for that, uh, just like uh, we hold a Zoom meeting and they join us just like, like this. Yeah, next yeah. station. Uh, next next meetup we may we will held in Beijing. <laughs> next station. <laughs> I mean, so with respect to the meetup, um, in terms of your question, Willem, with re with using Zoom or some technology, I mean, I don't personally see any problem with using this channel. This is the chaos channel. I mean, yes, uh, I see no problem with that. As long as it's allowed. Um, why wouldn't it be? Uh, well, our automatic uploads, I guess it's not automatic. Some of our uploads go to, most of our uploads go to Zoom. I don't know if that's okay or not, or if people in China can see that. Go to YouTube rather. Well, let's like, worry about the do we need to, yeah. I was just like talking about the the video, the use of this technology. Yeah. So yeah. would, would, would you being able to use this channel help in the meetup? Oh yeah, or Kane or Willem? Uh, uh, I think, I, I, I think Zoom, we can use uh, Zoom. Uh, this 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 uh, this resource I think uh, is convenient for us. Uh, I don't know uh, how about uh, the the I don't know uh, in Shanghai what, what we can use. Shaya, can you can you comment about the this this uh, uh, source? Shall we use this Zoom channel uh, for live yeah. broadcast or record videos? You mean for live broadcast for uh, other community members to join the channel and um, yeah, I think that works. Um, yeah, because some of uh, some of us is okay using Zoom. Maybe I'm not sure the connection will be stable, but um, I think we can figure that out. I think this works. Okay. Um, what time, okay, so it sounds like this channel, the whatever the number is on this Zoom channel could work for supporting the live broadcast, which is great. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth, I'm thinking, like, do we need to give any permissions so folks have the ability to like record and you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. Someone I do. Yes, log in. Yeah, I'm not sure if you have to be logged in under Chaos Community to record. I think you do, um, but I can absolutely give a login to King or Shoya or, or Willem, whoever wants it, for sure. Okay. Okay. And I think that would also help, just in terms of having one person there who is kind of administrator or host, just to help. I don't know, make sure that things go okay. Uh, okay, so that sounds good. Um, and, and Shoya, maybe like Elizabeth, you could share the the host stuff just so they could give a practice to make sure that they can log in by themselves. You know what I mean? As opposed to doing it on the 27th. Um, does anybody else have comments on that? All right. So um, Sean had pointed out with respect to the recordings. So all of our recordings at the moment are immediately uploaded to, to YouTube, which I think is not accessible to you. Is that correct in China? We can assess the link. Uh, some of us can assess the link, but it's, we can download the video. So okay. it, it, and oh, go ahead. Uh, Ruth had Ruth had had sent me her video uh, through Dropbox, and I think that works well. 
So uh, I think any uh, any cloud disk platform or yeah, uh, um, as long as we can, um, it's openly accessible and we can download the video. Um, I was yeah, I was also gonna just um, oh, sorry. no I I just wish to say, I just want to say any platform like that works for us as long as we can download the video because we need to add subtitles and to Matt's point um, it's it's not an actual automatic process I do intervene when I when we record these meetings. Um, it goes, uh, it is automatically recorded into the Zoom, our Zoom account, and then I upload it to YouTube. So um, I could upload it to any other platform that like Dropbox or, or if there's another um, video uh, website that you would prefer, um, we can certainly put it wherever you need it. So the recordings from the, from the um, meeting. So I think we're talking about two different videos here. One is making the videos that are pre-recorded available to Shoya. So for example, like Sean is going to pre-record a video with respect to Augur. I think Georg, aren't you recording, pre-recording a video with respect to Grimoire Lab? Daniel, maybe with respect to Intersource Commons. I'm running through my memory. So we need to make those available to Shoya ahead of time. And I think any sharing tool, and Shoya had mentioned Dropbox works well in that regard. And so then Shoya would have those videos ahead of time available to her. The second video recording is with respect to the day of. So as people present, if we have people presenting through Zoom, we can actually record the conversation that's occurring on the day of the 27th as well. And so if you show you, if you're administrator for Zoom on the day and you click the record button, those recordings just go off into the cloud and Elizabeth can then download those on say the 28th or the 29th or whatever. And then also make those available kind of post hoc or after, after the conference. And the reason we'd like to make those available, we'd like to make the pre-recorded videos available for everybody who couldn't attend the meetup. And we'd also like to make as appropriate the recordings that occur the day of available for people after the meetup as well. Cause I'm suspecting there are a number of people who can't attend the meetup that might have an interest in the conversation that's occurring there as well. So um, so one is for folks pre-recording, I think just pre-record and find a way to get it to show ya. Sounds like Dropbox works. And then the second is at the end of all of this, we need to aggregate the videos, the pre recorded videos, and the videos that we see you later, the videos that we recorded day of, um, and then make those available. So the platform to make those available, I'm not sure what the best option is here. So I think it's really important that we make all the videos available to, to our friends in China just because that's a large part of, of what this is all about. The first question and, is YouTube blocked as a Google property in China? Uh, but we have another uh, uh, video platform we can uh, use in China, just like uh, BDB or, 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 or someplace. And uh, uh, oh, oh, by the way, um, uh, there's another thing. Uh, if we want to promote uh, uh, chaos, uh, maybe we need to uh, uh, set up a uh, uh, Chinese uh, social account. It's like uh, we uh, may have uh, uh, like a YouTube channel, uh, maybe the uh, uh, you call one, just like a, a, a chaos channel, a BDB or, or, or someplace. Yeah. So, Are the, would those be visible to North Americans and Europeans? I think it, it should be. Okay. Um, I mean, maybe we could just promote that as a, like a double place that we post some of the things that we already video record and make it, you know, we have these two platforms that we distribute video content on going forward, not just for this, but in general. Yeah, uh, really, I think TikTok is uh, another choice. 
<laughs> Don't I have to do something with music and it lasts 60 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> but I know uh, some guys uh, uh, just uh, uh, cut the short videos to promote uh, uh, Mindsball, uh, the, the open source project of Ram Huawei. And uh, it, it's really a good place to uh, attract the uh, attention from the uh, younger generation. It's sounds like we have a couple options. Is what I I'm want hearing. a Dave Wheeler TikTok. That's that's all I'm gonna say. And and maybe we do after the after the meetup. You know, do still post them on the Chaos YouTube channel. That's I think that's completely fair. But then we also post the videos on a platform to Sean's point that is more accessible to folks in China. Right, and they just, it'll, it'll essentially, I think, just be double posted at least at this point. And, and maybe this is something we think about moving forward. So like even when we run um, Chaos Con, you know, whenever that happens again, that we, I only read the beginning of that about dancing. I'd like to see David dance, but um, for the Chaos Cons, um, we can perhaps do something quite similar, you know what I mean? Where we post the chaos con under whatever chaos con EU. And then we also post it so that folks in, in China can see it as well. So, all right, cool. Uh, so maybe we just set up some, uh, set up um, some social account on behalf of chaos on Chinese social medias, like um, like video made, uh, video media, Bilibili or TikTok and um, we had Weibo just like Twitter in America. Yes, yeah. and I okay. could coordinate with Elizabeth on that just so she can kind of track like where we have accounts. Oh, oh. Yeah. By, by yeah. the way, for the for, for the Bilibili, you may need a, a Chinese uh, number, a phone number. That could be a challenging part. Um, Oh yeah, most of China's social media are based on our phone number. Okay, I mean we could if we could share the raw MP3s that we upload to YouTube here in the United States and Europe um, in that Dropbox going forward, then somebody in China could upload them to the Chaos channel there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so. Sometimes we may need to uh, use the personal information to register uh, 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 account for for that. So uh, this could be a uh, 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 it could be a problem. And so 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 I think we we will figure it out uh, later. Sounds good. Sounds good. I think we can make progress. All right. Um, let's see. I'm looking at the minutes at this point. Um, so it looks like there's a few questions with respect to the meetup that need to be addressed. Um, maybe I'll share my screen here. So. Um, somebody help me a little bit. With this question here. Okay. So uh, sorry, my my. So before you share screen, can 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 I share my screen? I have some gift to show you. And uh, you know, this is <laughs> sorry. This is uh, the uh, only only one of the gift we use the in the meetup. This is sticker. You can sticker on your personal computer, uh, laptop, and uh, we have another some of the. A gift present uh, can I show you. Okay, I will show my screen here. Yeah, yeah can you see it? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the uh, clothes we have made a uh, hundred, a hundred uh, clothes. Here's the logo, chaos. You can the background, uh, the white background. This is just the, the design. The, the design design image uh, the art factor is a uh, it don't have the white background in the logo here okay we have 
yeah uh, this is the top of the people uh, this is the, uh, the the total sum of the people yeah we have made it a hundred and uh, okay. it will uh, express they will deliver to the shanghai to the yeah to the meeting yeah yeah and the second is uh, the handbag you can see it okay uh, this uh, this uh, two image of handbag we we have uh, make it uh, every, every handbag uh, 50 uh, handbags. This is uh, the uh, uh, only, uh, this I, I, I love chaos. This is one of the uh, image. And uh, this is another. You can see the chaos from the, from the letter. You can see the Shanghai from the letter. And you can see Huawei from the letter here. This is, uh, mm, yeah, yeah, this, <laughs> this, we, 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 uh, we created uh, uh, from the Netherlands, the great uh, museum. The, the yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like this. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is a cup, <laughs> same as bottle, crazy. same as, yeah, yeah. We have made it uh, 20, 20 wow, cups here. Okay, here's the logo. Uh, do you like the gift? Do you like the gift? <laughs> I show you. Yeah. These are amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are fantastic. I can tell you that all the people on the call are going to want you to set aside like 10 of each of these so that when we see you in person, we, <laughs> we can yeah. get one for ourselves. And these are great. I want to order yeah. one right now. <laughs> so next time, if the pandemic is past, you, uh, we have the uh, Chinese Chaos Con. I can, I can come. You can, I can, you can, you can come to in person and uh, I will send you this gift for you. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. Really <laughs> okay, so, okay, so I can stop sharing my screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, King. Uh, hello, hello, everyone. This is Ada, Ada from Tencent. Uh, today is my first time to join this meeting. And uh, thanks, very thanks. I, I, because I checked the meeting minutes, I found that King is from Huawei, right? Because William, yeah. William Zhang is my, uh, is my friend. We meet in, first meet in Innocence Commons in Shenzhen. So uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thanks uh, William giving me this chance to meet all of you here. And of course, first of all, I will, uh, I will uh, try to connect with uh, King. Yeah. You can, can, can I have, have your uh, WeChat information? Yeah. Then I, I will give my delivered uh, address to you because I live in China. <laughs> I can have this gift, gift for, for <laughs> in advance. Uh, so, I, I will live in Shenzhen. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I will live so, in Shenzhen. She, she lives in Shenzhen, so you can bring the gift to her. Yeah, we can do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay. so I would like to stop here and uh, pass the the, uh, the 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 seat to the host because um, I may I may need to uh, more time to catch up the chaos. The minutes I will read from that first. Mm -hmm. well, Ada, it's very nice to meet you and thanks for joining. Thanks, Matt. Well, I don't, I mean, all the stuff I have to talk about now seems super boring. I don't have <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to show. It's like logistics on a conference. <laughs> uh, so I, I guess maybe instead of sharing my screen and talking through topics, what uh, Shoya or King with respect to the meetup, you know, what do you need? What do you need with respect to help at this point, right? King, yeah, you're muted, King. Um, yeah, I guess the, yeah, the last thing is um, to finalize the agenda because we are still working on that. Uh, if you can look into the sheet, uh, uh, yes, we shared in a minute. So this is the agenda we plan for now and uh, because we are going to receive six videos and uh, we may have six keynotes in the same time uh, in Shanghai in, in, in person meeting. And um, so for the breakout sessions, um, yeah, I, 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 I want to ask uh, if we have 
any ideas, like any topics we can discuss in the breakout sessions. I, I threw a few in there that have been popular. Um, one from with regards to inner source, because that seems to be a, a popular topic with this group. Um, historically, Grimoire Lab and or Augur have done some breakout sessions, but that would require obviously someone locally on the ground to help facilitate that. Um, either of those, those are those are things we've done before. I think, I mean, InterSource seems like a really strong candidate for a breakout session. And after that, I think, are there are there other interests or like, do you need a, would you like a chaos basics and experience to date, um, maybe to see some of the examples that people have done over the years. Um, <clears throat> what might be really helpful in a breakout session too for me is, and, and I think it would be fairly easy to run either by you, Shoya, or King, or Willem, is trying to understand what people's goals are with respect to community health. So not even the metrics themselves, but what are people hoping to accomplish by getting a better understanding of community health, whether it's the communities that, that they are managing internally, or it's the communities that they're looking at externally. The reason this might be helpful is it's fairly easy to talk about because people have different goals. Uh, and I think this would have a lot of, it would have a lot of interest for people who aren't able to attend the meetup as well, understanding what people's specific goals are. And then third, it, it follows the approach that we use in the chaos project for developing metrics, which is this goal question metric approach. And so even just defining those goals to me would be extremely, extremely helpful. I would want to plus one that as well. Um, and I think maybe this is a, I'm an ignorant US employee, so I don't have a lot of visibility into what you're facing in your local markets, but even just talking about the platform differences and hosting the conference. Um, I know within chaos, a lot of times we're talking about metrics and data collection in the context of platforms that we use regularly in GitHub and GitLab, but I'd be curious to know um, if there are other popular platforms that are being used in other local communities and other countries um, that can help expand the way that we think about where the data is coming from and the kinds of platforms that our metrics and suggestions need to be applicable for. Um, so I think we are so focused on what we know here that I think it would be interesting to hear what tools are being used in, in other markets and how we can make our metrics story and process more accessible to other methods and platforms. It's a great idea. Do those two help Shoya and King? Would that help with breakouts? Yeah, that's super help, helpful. Thanks. Great. Um, and if you, Shoya, if you would like um, a hand, like kind of arranging, how long are the breakout sessions? Um, we haven't think too much about that. Maybe one hour and uh, that can allow for several topics to discuss about. Okay. I can share my screen. Yeah, of course. This is the agenda. Yeah. Uh, uh, Shia and me and uh, made this agenda. Uh, we start, the uh, kickoff is uh, from 2 p.m. Uh, and uh, last uh, 10 minutes. This is the keynote. Uh, the yellow background is uh, the video. And uh, the white background is uh, for the Chinese guy to uh, uh, in person now, in person and uh, to share what what they uh, what uh, what what care about the chaos. And here's to the breakout section. Okay. Uh, it's last uh, thirty minutes. Yeah. And uh, okay, we last uh, two 
20 minutes for altogether discussion. Okay, this is the agenda about the meeting. Uh, okay, last uh, 30 minutes is uh, remote connection with chaos. Uh, Xiaoya have told us some of the uh, European uh, guys and uh, other uh, other guys can join the meeting by the Zoom. Yeah. This gotcha. Is the agenda. So maybe about 30 minutes for the breakout sessions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So um, we only have a minute left here. So can for I, the break, go ahead. Uh, if we only have a minute left, can I jump in real quick? Of course. Okay. Uh, I was wondering uh, what your web presence is gonna be for this conference. Uh, and then additionally, uh, do you want the chaos website to host this information? So generally for, I know this isn't a chaos con, but for the, for the chaos cons, uh, each event has its own web page. So do we want to create a web page for this event? Uh, and then I, here's a, here's an example for the, uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Here's an example for the uh, Chaos Con Europe that we usually do. Sorry, that last link. Can do you want to share screen or I can I can share screen? Can um, let me find uh, the website we used to. Uh, that is mostly for the registration. Re re Registrations, uh, I think King have sent that to the mailing list, but I have no problem with um, hosting the information on Chaos website. Okay, Would can I have some volunteers to help me put that together? Um, That's great. So, yeah, uh, so the process is to submit a pull request to the website repository, right? Correct, yep. Okay, I can help with that. So there, there will be a, a, a little bit of a design, uh, design consideration. So we'll have to decide what information we want to have on there and what we want the, the website to look like. Uh, we, we could follow that, the, the example of the, the European chaos con that I sent, uh, or we can, we can create something kind of new because this, as I said, this isn't a chaos con. The, the agenda and the structure of the event seems like it's going to be a little bit different. So, uh, I think okay. for the meetup, uh, we don't have a lot of uh, information there. So maybe a simple, simple one. Yeah, it can be very simple. I think too. It would be great if we can get it on the chaos site just to help with visibility and. You know, I like the work that you're doing. Yeah, I just sent the registration link we used in China to promote the event. Okay. Okay, so as we're at the end of time, could I ask maybe Shoya and Kevin, could you kind of work this out maybe a little bit? And if we have to be out of band, I think we could do that, you know, not on this call. And then, um, Shoya, I was just going to say, with respect to the breakout sessions, if you, I'm not sure who's going to run them, but King or Willem or Shoya, I'm happy to work with you to just talk about like maybe how to structure a breakout session, at least ones that we've done in the past, it might be different um, with your audience, but just how to encourage conversation, how to capture information, how to present that information back. Um, if you've never run one before, but happy to work through that as well. Any other comments for folks? Oh, oh but by, by the way, it, it's looks like uh, uh, we don't, um, this is the last meeting uh, before the meetup. So um, if we want to uh, go through something or so discussion about uh, the agenda of the meeting, how can we do it? Uh, maybe we can schedule. Uh, schedule, I lost, but yeah, schedule another meeting. I'm happy to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I would also say for, for 
discussion sessions. If you're looking for more seed questions, I think that's something that we can help with offline too. So if you have a topic and you're just interested in terms of trying to provoke additional discussion, um, I mean, I, I can help to suggest a few questions or discussion prompts. Um, so if you decide what you want to discuss in the breakouts and then resend that out to the list and just ask for some feedback on how to how to expand it if you're looking for support. If not, no worries, but just that's one way that we can help help build out some of those session agendas after your conversations. Thanks, um, Sophia. Yes, well, thank you everybody. This is great. great. I'm happy this is moving forward. So yeah, so additional discussions, if we need to have them out of band, um, no problem there or on the list to Sophia's point, also have discussions that way as well. All right. Well, thanks everybody. It's good to see you all. Till next thanks. time. Good luck on the event. Bye. This is very exciting. <laughs> uh, bye, bye, bye everyone. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.